All right, I'm back. <clears throat> my kids were getting up when I went up there, and my fiance is still sleeping, so I had to get breakfast and everything going. Duty calls. Duty calls. What the hell am I listening to? Boom. Come cool. on. I don't like these, uh... I don't, even, I don't even know what they're called, you know? I don't even know. But I don't like them. Uh... Oreo. That's what I want. Yeah! Get him. Next! You know what I wanted to do? Now that I have my mutation things going, this is like the perfect time for me to respec and do all this. Because I have a bunch of points available, but I don't have like my mutations and stuff done. So I wanted to see what do I want to go for with this, I think. When drawn magic unique Witcher swords increase sign damage by 50 percent. Wow. That's pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. Um <clears throat> each adrenaline point. Increases damage received, decreases damage received by 15%. Each point of toxicity increases damage dealt by swords. Crossbow damage is increased. I don't care about crossbows. critical effects to opponents activates a random decoction for 120 seconds with no cost that sounds cool In all of the cases, if vitality is less than 25%, automatically triggers a finisher? Damn! These mutations are actually fucking insane. Each 
fatal blow dismembers or activates a finisher. Each blow dealt by a melee weapon. The red mutagen is expensive to develop, though. That's the only thing that I think might be a bit of a problem. Um, let me look at alchemy real quick, because... Mutagen is something that I can develop relatively easily. Oh, uh, you can like trans, you can transmute stuff. Interesting. Huh. Shit, that might be the way to get to red, because red is a pain in the ass. Greater red, I could use, yeah, winter cherry, and yeah, that sounds like a fucking plan, because I have so much blue mutagen, it's ridiculous. Doing well, FEMA. How are you? <clears throat> Green mutagen's kind of the same way. Anyway, um, yeah, red is not really something that I'm going to be able to do much with, sadly. Um, I can't do that one right now. But... For every point of your toxicity level... percent for each foe. Once it wears off. Increase for 30 seconds. Once it wears off, drop by 10%. Huh. Synapses is activated. Wait, what does that mean? Improve each day's unlocks an additional ability slot. Huh. Interesting. Oh, 
yeah, okay. Advanced mutations require multiple types of mutagens. Allow you to use any abilities from the combat signs or alchemy groups. Got it. Okay. Every gnome level one formula increases maximum toxicity by one. Time automatically slows. Maximum vitality. I use oils a lot. I think this could be really good for that. Potion dose imbibed heals 5%. That's good. 3% chance of poisoning. I feel like this only really needs to be level, like I only really need one point in that. So what do I need? I need two more points. I actually thought Frenzy was good. Um, I like Refreshment a lot. 5% protection against attacks from the monster type the oil targets. That's actually really good, I feel like. protection against attacks. Okay. Well, this is good here because... Alright, so what do I need for this? Uh, number of research mutations necessary to unlock four. Okay. So I'm assuming Yeah, so I was gonna say I'm assuming you can't you can't do that. Okay. Um number of researched mutations. Each point of toxicity increases damage dealt by swords. Tempting decreases damage received. I 
Because, yeah, it's eight. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so you need both. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Interesting. So I need a greater red mutagen for that one. When drawn, magic, unique, and witcher swords. Adrenaline rush. See, I'm not really interested in those. And this just seems like a, a waste of one. But at the same time, like, if it's to get to this one, I feel like it could be worthwhile. Twenty-five percent chance of freezing opponents. All right. See, I'm, I just don't feel like I would use that one. Yo, Sam, appreciate the six months, buddy. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Six more to go till that one year anniversary. <laughs> I just need another greater red mutagen, which is a problem because I, I actually really want this one. <clears throat> I guess this one's kind of good too, but. Twelve total. I don't really care about this one. Regardless, I have to get Bloodbath. There's not really an option. That Greater Viad Mutagen has to happen. No matter what. And unfortunately, I kind of need those. <laughs> Let's see. I need to find winter cherry. So that I can develop. deal with this in the meantime. I don't know how many uh, skill points this stuff requires either. Like, that one's five. Good lord. I think for now, what I'll do... Because mutagen is always important. Toxicity is above zero. Time automatically slows. Yeah. Guess I should have known about that one. All right. Three. Adrenaline point loss. Deflect arrows while parrying. Strength. 
strong attack damage. I don't really use strong attacks very much, but... based on the number of adrenaline points used. That's just worth it, I think. Okay. Search mutations necessary. Oh, so you do need 12. Damn. Alright, well. I guess if that's the case, then. You may as well upgrade. May as well do the research. back. Sustained glyphs is good. Permanently weakens enemy armor. Stream of fire. Okay, I think that's good. And then I gotta figure out what I'm doing with the rest of these points because I have three other areas where I could develop this. I kind of like the idea of an alchemy build, I'm not gonna lie. Let's see. Increases vitality by 10%. No, I don't want that. Mutagen decoction increases maximum vitality by 200 for the effective duration. That could be interesting. Oil applied gives a 3% chance of poisoning the target. Chances greater the higher the level of oil used. That could actually be interesting. That could actually be really interesting. I don't have poison on my weapons anymore. Well, I guess my uh, my rune right shit went away. So I, I guess in a sense... 
Um, I didn't have poison before, so I could add that to it. When adrenaline points are at their maximum, crit damage is increased by 20%. That could be interesting as well. I gotta commit here though, because otherwise, like I'm seven points away on that one and I've, I could give a shit about this stuff, but honestly, melt armor is good. I could take it up all the way later if I wanted to. But I want to fill these slots. I'm not interested in going any further with signs. And I'm really not interested in going any further with attack power stuff either, so... I think alchemy is honestly just like the most interesting. <laughs> so what I'll do is try to expand. Honestly, tissue transformation could be good. I don't use mutagen decoction often, but I think it would be very interesting. I'm not going to go with any of those. Poison blades is good too, though. That's the thing is they're both really good. Three percent chance of poisoning. Mutagen decoction increases maximum vitality by two hundred. Definitely gonna go for poison blades for sure. And then let's see. I mean, I can't even technically use these two extra slots yet anyway. So I could... Technically, I could put one point in tissue transformation. Potions don't wear off. No, I'm not worried about that. I already have crazy potion duration time. I don't care about having extra charges because I could just reapply. Don't care about that one. Increases bonus for mutagen placed in mutagen slot by 10%. That could be really good. Especially since I have some good stuff there. Uh, toxicity drops one point fa per second faster. Well, I don't want that to go faster because each point of toxicity... All right, so... Yeah, so synergy would be the next one that I would do because the bonuses are just really good. Um, mutagen decoction increases maximum vitality. Yo, Reaper, don't backseat. I fucking hate it when people do that. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Trust me, I will fucking ban you. Let me play the game the way I want to play it, all right? Super rude to come into somebody's chat and start, like, telling them how to play the game. Alright, Tissue Transformation. I actually do like this, too, because I'm not super tanky with my latest build. So we can grab that, and then we can grab Synergy. Yeah, that's what's up. And then that benefits everything. And then... I'm planning on going for one of these two. I don't know which one yet. It's going to be expensive, though. I already know. It's going to probably cost me the rest of my ability points, so I want to make sure I have them available. I, I actually have to... Uh, maybe I'll do this quest, but I really need to go upgrade my weapons again. I have to... Like, now that they're Grandmaster, I need to go to the rune right and get that stuff put back on. 
I'm, I'm actually really interested to try this alchemy build. I think it's going to be really fun. Yeah, Reaper. I, I know. I know everything about the upgrade tree in this game, dude. I've literally been playing this for a hundred and some odd hours. I know all of the upgrades that are available, and I'm redoing my build now because I a got Grandmaster gear now. B, uh, the shit that I had before just wasn't good for this level, and then C, I try to a build earlier that I wasn't happy with so. dead just dead but I I know about the vitality I don't care about getting vitality regen for 30 minutes it's not that's not the purpose of this build blow itself didn't kill him bled to death afterwards orders on mm, elegant stationary no chance this letter wound up here by accident Notes clear. Someone's out to sabotage Coronada. Shame I don't know who. Though I could still find out if I keep looking. More than 100 hours and 41 how? Because I've been literally doing everything. Alright, so that must have been the... Same damn beast is in the notice, though. Tina, mm, find proof of sabotage. <laughs> No, I haven't finished the main quest in Blood and Wine yet. I'm just doing side content that's still relevant for my level right now. I just hit 41 a couple hours ago, and I've been spending most of the time between then and now working on gear.
Come on, Roach. The witcher stands to best the beast. I've heard the story is pretty good for this DLC. I did Hearts of Stone over the last two days. Rabbit Rock Troll. Feelings of guilt. Liam Coronada pays you practically nothing. You've got a family to feed. Hide the share of the down payment. Someone finds you. There's going to be hell to pay, dude. Find the stash in the manure pile. Oh, great. All right, I will be back for that later. I'm not doing that right now. have to go talk to the herbalist in town. I'm going to have to do a lot more than I initially thought when it comes to getting my gear done. I mean, honestly, like, my gear is fine. Like, I can progress pretty easily with what I have, but... care to know about the most powerful silver blade reaper like i said just i don't want helper tips at all not even a little well let's do that again so this one is where it's still not really near the main part of the vineyard there. Do a save here just in case.
I got you covered. Thank you, noble knight. I'd ventured north in search of herbs for a new flame, but why? Why suddenly? Calm down. It's over. The bung diddlers kidnapped the bung diddlers. me in hopes of collecting a ransom, I'm sure. But with Master Liam's troubles, he never could have paid them. Ah, but I'm free and safe, thanks to you. Should you need any help, I've a hearty stock at the Coronata. Will you work me there? Sure. Lead the way. Honestly, she I might have the herbs you. that I need. I need to transmute some of the mutagens. Here we are. Once again, I thank you for the rescue. Wish to look over my stock? Yes. Show me what you got. Come on. Nope. She doesn't have what I need. Oh, shit. I need the fucking... Let me see what that is. Show Let me, me see what it's called. I, I know the thumbnail for it, or the tooltip for it, but I don't know what the actual name is. It, it is... Nope, not Blue Lotus. Winter Cherry. Without investigating Fermentino's problems, let Liam take over Bellegarde or continue investigating and deal with Matilda's problems. Well, I'm going to start working on the Vermentino stuff. Run, Roach. Take it easy. Hit the fast travel to I'm gonna hit the fast travel to the vineyard. Come now, Madame Monsieur. Yeah, I've seen the, the Netflix series, it's good. I enjoy it. I think that's a good one to start with. Okay. Off we go. Ch 
chest in the sunflower field. that other one? Oh, it was back in the other spot. I'm just going to keep working on this. I'll come back. Do the scavenger hunts later. This On this expansion, the Scavenger hunts are like nowhere near where you initially find them. Something's not right. Bargast. Spectre. Essence? Interesting. Alright, this is actually... This is actually close. I'll do this one. Uh, no, I've done pretty well with Gwent. I figure, I feel like I figured it out really fast, though. The, the thing that took me the longest was... I need to know what these spore things are. Arch spores? Cursed ones, really? Interesting. I have so much toxicity now. Like, Next. Dodge everything so when you got forced to play you didn't know anything. Yeah, I mean I, I kinda just like played it 
a little bit throughout the main quest. And when I really started to get into it was when the quest for the tournament showed up. That's when I started like really working on my deck and then like doing that quest kind of teaches you how to play the game at a much higher level. My life, unknown knight. How were you dubbed? Dubbed Geralt. Geralt of Rivia. My Geralt. Father, Geralt. Geralt of Rivia. Kali Wax sought to demolish our herb garden, you see. I thought I shall take a hum, scare the rubble off, but to my great chagrin, there were too many, and I I failed. Ah, there's no use crying over spilt wine. Yeah, there Come is. It's expensive, Medina. dog. I'll patch up your armor or pound the anvil to fulfill some other need you might have. Go ahead. I'll stop by when I'm in the area. No, I didn't get any. Uh, we only we only have one bottle of wine at my house right now. I actually was super interested in making wine a few years back. I feel like you should be able to put oils on your bar. The 25% vitality is just actually insane. Every time you drink a potion. Right, I also need Oriole.
I actually knew somebody in high school that had a cat eye. It's like a super rare genetic condition that actually can cause one or both of your eyes to look like a witcher's. <laughs> it's like actually a real thing. It doesn't like affect your vision or anything. It's just like the way your pupils are. But I actually did know somebody in high school that had... I don't remember which eye it was, but it was only one eye. Gotta be popular in a school? Well, I mean, I don't think it had anything to do with popularity, but, I mean, he did, he was, he, I wouldn't say he was popular, but, I mean, a lot of people knew who he was. I dated his sister for, like, I don't know, not long. Robbed our storehouse. Could I F choose F? I wonder if that has anything to do with this quest. Let me see. Wine wars, wine wars. Just keep working on this. No, he's not go, a witcher. Go. Like I said, it's just a rare genetic condition that just causes one of your eyes or both of them to have that kind of appearance. Level 47 rage. <laughs> We are getting to the point where uh, max level enemies are about to show up here. I think I don't think there's anything higher than level 50 until you get to New Game Plus, and then everything starts from from level 50. Since time immemorial have I dwelt in solitude on this shore, and I can testify to the extraordinary nature of the lake. What's so extraordinary about it? I mean, besides the fact that you can walk on its surface. A sword, most wondrous, lies in its depths. I watch over it. The blade may be grasped solely by one who possesses the five chivalric virtues. Folk call me a lot of things, but virtuous? I don't know. Yet I do know. For I know who you are. You are a man of honor, as many can attest. Of humble means yourself. You show generosity to others. Your valor is the stuff of legends. Reason guides your actions as it does those of all who are wise. To acquire the sword, you must first convince me you are worthy. The inscriptions on the stones describe the five virtues. Valor, honor, wisdom, sympathy, and generosity. During your time in Tuxo, you can prove these virtues dwell in your heart. In this world, there are many in need. They will help you prove your chivalry. Okay. Um. Wise know this. As we journey through life, we should seek to make wise choices. Not which make our lives easier or simpler. They make them more complicated, but they make us better. 
not purchased, not sold. Greater than all treasure in the world, one can lose it. Whosoever does sullied name for all eternal eternity, truly honorable man stands behind his actions and doesn't lie. One feels sympathy for his fellow man. Stand against the majority, no matter what the consequences. Who's playing the absolute shit out of Dying Light 2 this weekend? playing and you're trying to avoid them <laughs> yeah I'm actually surprised that I didn't get invited to that sponsorship that they were doing they started it like way back in like the summer last year like back when like a lot of people were playing village like they reached out to a bunch of people that were speed running village I probably had quit the game by then though honestly I don't know but like pretty much everybody that was speed running village got invited to the sponsorship hey, that yeah, they're doing for dying light but I don't think that I'm getting early access, and I also don't think I'm getting a review copy either, so... Honestly, like, I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do. I wanna play it. I think it's gonna be a great game, but I really don't feel like spending $60. I'm sure it's worth it, I just, honestly, can't afford it. <laughs> I would rather, like get a copy and play it for review purposes than to like shell out the money Problem to solve. Might as well deal with this mess while it's convenient. Oh, what are you? Are you guys? You guys are insectoids. Thank you for the brand new tier one sub. I appreciate it. I 
It was convenient, why not? Wow, greater red mutagen off of that? Sheesh! Something. Did I fuck it up? What did I do? No, we're good. All right, let's go. Silver. Yo, James, that's awesome, dude. Thank you for watching the YouTube content. I haven't been doing too much with YouTube the last few days, but I have every intention. Mm. A letter and a key. In a mm. place like this, Looks like an orchestra be interesting. Killed him. Mm. Interesting. This note plus what I found earlier. Some third parties causing problems at the vineyards. Need to find the spot the letter mentions. Party, huh? And I'll Third find party. something mighty interesting behind whatever door this key opens. Wait, so this is. Whoa, whoa, hang on a second. Is it a treasure hunt that I found? No. It's completely different. Okay. It's fine. Um, Alright, the place mentioned in the letter. Hella fucking far, but it's fine. Now, I've got to assume here that the wine wars. Yeah, okay. But yeah, I'm, I'm planning on ramping up the YouTube content again closer to the time when Elden Ring comes out. But I'm a little bit out of. Uh, kind of out of ideas right now with the YouTube content with Back for Blood. I was going to do build videos, but. Like, I, like, all the way up until, like, last week, I was super into the idea of doing YouTube, or doing build videos, but I feel like they're just too time-consuming. They're too time-consuming, and I don't have the patience to do that much editing. Like, I'm a streamer. I'm not a YouTuber. And, uh... A lot of my YouTube content is just like short form editing. I don't have I don't have like eight hours to edit a video. Like I, I just don't. And so the problem with build videos is that like between actual editing and rendering and shit. Um what the fuck? I'm stuck in that bush. Whatever. Um yeah, I just don't have the time for the uh, the short form stuff. It's or for for anything more than short form. One of these days, I would like to hire an editor so that I can just like make the content and just pay someone else to edit it. But it's 
the channel has not grown enough to the point where I can feel confident doing that. Met a while ago and had a talk about Resident Evil and speedrunning for the website that you work out. Gotcha. Yeah, I apologize that I don't remember. I've been having a lot of conversations with a lot of companies lately. But, uh... I'm trying to... Trying to just get a little bit more organized, to be honest. The organization on my part has been terrible. Like, there's a bunch of emails and shit that... I've been trying to get back to... Whoa! Um, but it's just been a process trying to orchestrate all of those things. No, not insectoid. Cursed oil. I guess I could do Oriole as well. Taking. Yo, James, thank you for the five gift subs. Holy shit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bulbs are too mature to be safely transported. These should be burned. I heard Bruce count Crespies behind the sabotage of both vineyards. Until then, Liam. That's a lot of gifted items. Yeah, it is, noob. Yes, it is. All right, where is the best place? Maybe there's a marker over here. I want to see if I can get a fast travel on this side of the map. Because I got a whole lot of nothing right now. There's got to be a marker up here. Got to be a marker up here. Let's see. There's something wicked here. It's in the air. I can smell it. There we are. I knew it! Ooh. Master Witcher, have you any news? This vineyard, Belgard. Why is it so valuable? <laughs> you are not from here, it certainly shows. Before Count Crespi fell prey to the beast, Belgard belonged to him. As a man of wealth and influence, he guided it to immense success, brought in rare grape varieties, hired skilled workers. I shan't trouble you with unnecessary details. Suffice to say that merging Belgard with another vineyard is a sure recipe for success. One and the same man caused Coronada's and Vermentino's problems. Got proof. A certain Count Crespi. He's at the root of it all. What, Crespi? Belgard's erstwhile owner? Why, that's impossible. Got it all here, in writing. He did, indeed, have motive. He knew well his own vineyard could not survive if Vermentino and Coronata were to join forces. Probably why he incited the feud. Pulled it off, too, mostly. Just failed to bring his plan to completion when the beast got him. Incredible. You mean to say it... it wasn't Liam? And I was certain my troubles were Matilda's doing. <clears throat> In light of new evidence, uh, the most just resolution would be for both injured parties to share oversight of Belgard. Wait just a minute. 
Do you mean to suggest we're to cooperate? It's the optimal solution, yes. In terms of the health of the Enterprise as well. Hmm. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I do believe he's yeah, right. Yeah, bury the hatchet. Perhaps it is time to bury the hatchet. Three vineyards are more than one. There's much to be gained. So be it. That's not all. The troubles at your vineyards? Solve them. You can go back to operating normally now. Splendid news. I'm relieved to see you hired a professional, especially one whose aid might still prove invaluable. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Follow me. It's high time you saw Belgard. Witcher, come with us, please. Something tells me we'll have tasks for you yet. All right, let's go. Yeah. <clears throat> My desire for Belgard to pass into capable hands was no idle whim, for the vineyard's fallen upon hard times since its previous owner's demise. I've been told of workers dying on their rounds, monsters prowling about. Before anyone can call this home, they will have to deal with these um, inconveniences. That is the minister's wish. More work for me, I guess. If you're willing, we'll gladly accept your help. Well, yeah, we gotta talk about my pay again. I can help, sure, but I won't work for free. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna drive that price up. Fine, we have a deal. Gosh, they didn't even try. They didn't even try to renegotiate, dude. I just went right up for it. A weight off my chest, I must say. Your reward shall be fair, I promise. I'll get to work. I just slid this freaking bar up and I was like, all right, well, it's... All right. And it worked. They agreed without even trying to negotiate. They're like, yeah, 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 whatever. We'll, we'll pay it. I mean, you got to keep in mind, these guys are probably pretty wealthy since they... They are now in... Uh, in possession of three vineyards between the two of them, so... So annoying. You literally can't even see any of them. Dude, I get so annoyed with these fucking assholes, man. It just like move this up if I want to get rid of the Endragus.
I'm like really not a fan of some of the enemies in this DLC though. I, I like I don't like these centipedes at all. good basis for enemy design, but I just think that they're not good. <coughs> Red mutagen. It doesn't take too many hits to kill them, which is good, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating to deal with. <sighs> this vineyard is a massive property. Centipede spawning ground should destroy it. All right, let me look at this. I think I might have enough for my next upgrade now. I sure do. I need more red mutagen for this, though. Metamorphosis is definitely the one that I want. But I need more greater green. Well, I mean, I can make greater green. That is not a problem. Greater green is the least of my worries. I have enough for one. I just need a little more red mutagen, and then I can can make this. I need one more. Whoa! Whoa! mutagen I mean I'm gonna need more than that to get my top tier trait there but it'll be fine 
When I, when I go back to the main quest, I'm gonna level up a lot more too. I'll get like... Probably a pretty... Whoa, what the fuck is that? Some kind of a drake. What are you? You are a... Oh, you're a, you're a slizzard! Fast. You're a fast little boy. Actually, you know what? I might have enough red mutagen to make a greater red. I sure do. Better believe it. I need seven ability points. Good lord. Um three more, and I need two more greater green mutagen. coming together, I think. <laughs> From one XP away, really? Interesting. There's a dead body just sitting here. <laughs> okay. I don't know why they haven't cleaned that up yet, but... Alright, what do we got? It's a bit of a trek to get out there. I think... I think what I will do... Let's hit Let's some go. markers on the way there. What's my weight looking like? Oh, we got plenty. I was going to think about a decoction, though.
I reckon using two decoctions is probably the way to go. Because, like, my maximum toxicity now is actually fucking crazy. And the extra damage that I get now using this mutagen that I have is is pretty nutty. Oh, what am I doing? I need to go this way. Wait, does this make sense? Oh, I get it. I went, I went a little too far north. I gotcha. This is before any like rune right stuff either. A little Giant red mutagen. Spawning ground. Should destroy it. Red mutagen. Greater red mutagen. Very nice. Still need a little more for another for another one. That's it, Roach. That's it, Roach. Yeah, I definitely need to go see the rune right relatively soon. I actually think alchemy builds are really cool. If you use the oils and the potions and stuff, it's really fun. Some fucking nasty looking foggets. Spoon made of pure gold. <laughs> okay. I don't want to check up this hill here.
What the fuck are these things? these things. Vampires, huh? letter. Is there anything in this alcove? What is this? I don't think it's really anything. Yeah, it's just like a path. Nothing here. Alright, well. I guess. Quite a few markers over here. I'll probably yeah. just tackle those while I'm in the area. Drowners. I'm so sick of drowners. Get him. I thank you, sir. Were it not for you, well, those bandits were not pulling pranks. I could pound some new steel for you in gratitude, <coughs> but I must first return to my workshop in Belgard. Drop by when I'm in the area. Fuck, I didn't miss that marker right there. That's alright. Faster. Not too late to go back. Seconds. 
No, I didn't. Gave him to yourself. Oh! Come on, Roach. Come on, Roach. Go around. Sounds like a place of power should draw the from it. humming. Place of power, it's gotta be. God damn right, it does gotta be, man. Come on. Right, I need one more ability point. Forget which ones I was using. Gimara and Succubus, I think, yeah. Alright. Where to? I guess we can go hit this marker.
Oh, there, sir. I guess those swords on your back aren't there as festoons. Maybe you could help me. Maybe. Depends. Well, there's a cave that, to my mind, would be splendid for aging wine. Not over dry and none too moist. But. But. Down things full of noise. The arse clenching sort. Clinkety, bangity, knockety kind. Sent McClark in to see, been two days, and he's not back. I reckon it's all to do with the Elvin ruins. Oh, that about the cave. So, lend us a hand, will you? Let's talk about my reward. Could help, provided you can pay. Two forty-five. Yes, almost there. Mm, yeah. Agree. Good. Let's go. Fine. I'll have a look in the cave, see what lurks there. Hey, Tony Champion! The bells must give you one hefty reduction. Hmm? Take a quick peek. Gargoyle. Show me what you got. Seems like a decent enough solution here. Got everything we needed. <coughs> a little loot along the way. A couple gargoyles feels bad. His dude got fucking wrecked in here. But has his life. And so it is. Oh, there's a you gotta get those those veins, cause some of the ore in this oh, in this expansion is just kind of clear now. Did you hard to it? find. Yeah, all taken care of. <laughs> and four call witches lay about some freeloaders. Bollocks. Bollocks. Storehouse will be ready in two days at most. And here on in, you've cut rate prices on all my goods. Good to know. What you got on offer? No 
Okay. Good. Not from around here, are you? Nay, from Pobis we are. Wandered south for the climber for the first war. Chills up north were giving me wifey feel lumbago. So long. There's also a marker up here. Let's do that. It's kind of out of the way anyway, so... Since I'm over here, now would be a great time. Run up on this marker, see what we can do. Woo! The prison, huh? Escape Artist's Journal. further real quick and drink. Dude, turn around. Turn around, bud. Good lord. Looks like there might be a way up from here. Nope. Sure isn't. Alright, whatever. this. Uh, it's a little ways down. So I'll just go grab this boat. Sunken Ruins and the Elven Treasure. Oh. This water is deep, even for being close to shore. It is very deep.
this is where I was at earlier. I was looking for this key a while back. I think. I think this is it. I, yeah, this is, yeah. I, I've i been under this ruin before. But I didn't have the key. Looked for the key for hours, yeah. Yeah, it was on that marker, okay. Wasn't so bad. Yeah, I figured it'd be around here somewhere, like one of the neighboring markers or whatever, but. I didn't care to look too much into it. Honestly, I think all I'm going to do is just pull this up. I'm going to pull it up to this dock over here. There is a nest right there. I want that. much of a point in using the fast travel because <coughs> it's like right here Guards' problems. Vineyard should be in as good a shape as ever. Splendid. And thus, officially, by the power vested in me, I grant you title to the Belgard Vineyard and trust that you shall make good use of its grounds and resources. Thank you, Witcher. Ah, I can already smell the grapes ripening into sun. We shan't forget what you did for us. Here. Your pay. Your pay. But that's hey. not all. You must come back and see us shortly. We've a surprise in store for you. I'll do that. Farewell. Farewell. Wait three days? How about this? How about we just wait three days? You know? I'm already here. What a great 
In whose influence richness we drown. Witcher. Oh, Witcher. Greetings. Kind of you to come. Matilda and I, we've a surprise for you. Hmm. You two seem to be getting along. We are. There came a point we realized we had no grounds to quarrel. Things became altogether pleasant. And a bit spicy. Romantic. Oh, Quiet. got it. Needn't say more. Glad things are going well for you. What's the surprise? Some new monster I need to kill? No, something far more pleasant. We've produced a wine. According to the best sommeliers, it might just dethrone SS. We owe this success to you. So, if you'd agree... We'd like to name it after you. What shall we call it? Ooh. What should we call the wine? Butcher of Blaviken? Or uh, not Geralt of Rivia, that's lame. That's lame for a wine. Butcher of Blaviken or White Wolf? I feel like White Wolf has a nice wine name to it. That's got like a really nice like if I was if I was at Kroger and I saw that shit on the shelf, I'd buy it. Why not White Wolf? Wild with character. It fits perfectly. If you wouldn't mind, we'd like to send a few bottles to your home every so often. I'd be honored. Thanks. No, we thank you. Take care, Witcher. Is it red or white? I think it's white. Let's see. It looks like a white wine to me. That's him! All right. Well, thirty-seven. Go, go. Butcher of Blaviken sounds like a cheap wine that would destroy your liver. You know what? It probably would. It's like that bottom shelf gas station wine. It's like a dollar ninety nine. The kind that like when you drink it at a party, you're the first person to throw up. <laughs> it, the first and only because nobody else will drink it. Gives you the worst hangovers? Yeah. I actually have, like, a... In a like, I, I wouldn't consider myself, like, a... A professional or anything, but I do feel like I have a very fine palate for... Like, nice wine. Honestly, just, like, food in general. I've I've had I've grown a a much much deeper appreciation for food as I have gotten older. You sir are a witch, the very one that you cast a summoned. Guilty as charged, and you gotta be. Like I I won't drink shitty wine, and it's not to say that like I mean like, there's definitely a distinction between like a two hundred dollar bottle of wine and like a three dollar bottle of wine. A I, I shouldn't say that I won't drink shitty wine, but so like I, I prefer wines that are at least a little bit more expensive. Might help, might not. Depends on whether we can agree on a fee. Two fifty. Well, 
240. 242. Well? 235. Good. 234, yeah. whatever, yeah. Sure, I'll see to it. For the sizable reward I foresee you giving me. Got him. Problem solved. Shalmar that lived in the cave won't pester you anymore. Superb! I've gained a warehouse, and you've gained my gratitude. Mind shot. See you later, bud. In fact, <clears throat> don't you face any Texas at Let's go. Whoa there, man. Got their nest here. Carry on.
Come on, Roach, you yeah. sack of shit. There we go. Oh my god, dude. Roach, come on. It's a rock. It's literally just a rock. It's not that big of a deal. Cave entrance of sorts. This is like underground or something. I don't know how to get to it. Come on, Roach. Whatever it is, either the all right. God damn it, Roach. There's got to be a cave entrance somewhere. is up this way. I wonder if maybe at the top of this path there's something. There's got to be something here. I don't know what I'm looking for though. Like the road just like ends and I expected to see a cave entrance or something but I'm not seeing shit. I don't want to spend too much more time on it though because it'll end up taking me forever. I'll just see if maybe the, one of the quests takes me there eventually. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Let's go! There's probably a cave entrance somewhere that I just don't know about. about monsters monsters there in the cave we managed to flee 
But Hugo remains inside. Hugo? Our brother. He's still in there, inside. Help us find him. We'll pay you for your toil. I could look into it, but it'll cost you. How much would you take? A reasonable price. Good. You post that notice about an escort? Yes, we did. And not without cause, it seems. We waited some days, yet when none answered, we risked the expedition on a company. Fools we were. We'd have done better to show patience. Wait! Poor Hugo. Left to an unknown fate. Noticed what attacked you? There was no time! We ran for the exit as soon as we felt the earth quiver. But Hugo, well, he went the other way. So, monsters crawl out of the ground? I... I suppose... In truth, I don't know. We just ran. Did not look back. Why do you even go in there? We... lost our way. Hmm. Mistake that cave for the high road? By the hair on my chinny chin chin, what difference does it make whether we went in for a stroll or together students? Hugo remains inside, in grave danger. Grave That's danger. what matters. Will you go in after him or not? Every second could be vital. Fine, I'll look for him. You two stay out here. things I need to repair my sword some protection. Maybe Quen will work.
trail keeps going. There's Hugo. You, Hugo. Your brother sent me. Ja! Desserts! Scoundrels! Tartmongers! They attacked me, but I fented them off. Now, they sent a brigand to finish the job. Yeah, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Ran into them outside, claimed monsters attacked. They ran, made it out, but you got stuck inside. They asked me to help you. Is that what they told you? The lying weasels. More trickery on their part, I'm certain. Whoa, slow down. What's this about? Uh, I'm Hugo Monar. My father, Victor Monar, you may have heard of. A cognac distiller he was, famed for it. Before he passed, my brothers and I would quarrel over who would inherit the family business. So father decided he would force us to work together. He broke his still down into its parts. Three of them he hid, telling each of us the location of one. When my brothers learned my part, the last, was hidden in here, they decided they did not need me anymore. They decided to cut me out of the business. Literally. We argued, fought. The noise must have woken the beasts. My brothers ran for the mouth, while I ran deeper in. Hmm. So you came here to find a piece of a still? You mean this thing? Yes. Where did you find it? Bottom of the pool of a hot spring. Really hit it well, your father. Mm hmm. Your pay. It is not much, I know, but I promise you good prices. The best thing once the tavern is open again. Hold you to that. Now let's go. Brothers are probably getting antsy. Wait, see there? My brothers. They've rounded up some thugs. They mean to attack me. We don't know that. Would you try to tell me it's a coincidence that they return with an armed band? They've come for the last part of the still. They won't kill me for it. Please, you may only hope. Kill them. Elsewise, they'll kill me. Kill your brothers? You want that? Well, perhaps not them, but the other roughs, for certain. As to my brothers, I don't know. You couldn't perhaps render them harmless? Uh, will you defend me? <sighs> Don't have much of a choice. Thanks. A thousand thanks. I shall wait here. what they deserved. Maybe they did mean well. I, for one, do not believe it. They were overcome with greed, ready to do anything to wrest the last part of the still from me. Besides, you did not kill them. They will come too, soon, having learned a valuable lesson, I trust. So what now? Uh, I fear I don't know. I can't possibly hope to rebuild my father's still. I suppose I must hang a shingle in the market, sell wine. Or perhaps I should move on, leave Toussaint. Alas, I know not and will have to see. Yo, James, Whatever take it easy, buddy. I shall not Thank you again for the five gift subs earlier. And the three months. Uh, Time no, I didn't kill that ways. one. Good luck. 
Whatever you decide to do. I killed I the bandits, you, but I didn't kill them. Fare thee well. This monster den is still... It's still lit up, which means I haven't gotten everything. It's probably because I didn't really get to loot. There's probably some loot here that I didn't get to take. Place of power, very good. Place of power. Seven points. I just need one greater red mutagen. As soon as I get that greater red, we're all set. the fuck? Hold on. There's gotta be something that I missed in the... Imperial Academy, modest pouch of coin. There we go, now it's grayed out. 
good. Level 42 right now. Okay. Go, go. Good to know. Good to know. Hmm. Wonder if I'll find anything Merton left behind here. Um, Libraries let me to a storehouse. a Are vampires, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it is. Diary and the old key. Find the treasure. Well, I'm pretty sure I know where it is. Core steel sword. Notes in the journal suggest that straight out of prison, Murphy went to the legendary cave. Leviota was supposed to have hunkered down there once. That's my next destination. Okay. Well, I'm not doing that right now because it's not what I. It's not why I came here. So I'm gonna go here. That's it, Roach. Go, go. Yeah, it is a pretty cool outfit, Felix. It's fucking expensive, though, dude. I think it cost me, like, maybe 30,000 gold to craft this.
What's going on there? else I can do over here but there's definitely more I could be doing let me see that's not really close is close at all uh, big game hunter is probably a good next best thing to head towards here because uh, upon hitting level 42 or 43 sorry I'm gonna have some troubles with a few things here that way I guess I could hit the two markers here Desperate man. I like in this expansion that, like, a lot of these. Like piles of barrels and shit. Like you don't have to like loot six different things. You just loot the stack and you get all the stuff. It's nice. Dude, really? What the fuck, man? New marker. Okay. Abandoned sight. Spriggan. Probably a cursed one. I, I think it's... Actually, no, it's probably a relict. I think it's kind of in line with a, a Leshen. I think it's kind of the same idea.
This is where the quest is. Got enough ability points, just need fucking everything else. All right. We need run, Roach. Your hand to be kissed. Lift up your bum to make way for a cushion. That's it, Roach. For we're neck deep in trouble of the spider kind. Spiders. You're huh? made with a broom, not a witcher. You fail to understand. These are huge, the size of pigs or dogs. Black and hairy, spewing webs. Mm hmm. Not talking about spiders then, talking about arachnomorphs. Call them what you will. You must smash the rogues, will you? Those caves would be prime barrel storage were it not for the beasts. Yeah, well, we're gonna talk about my pay first. First things first. Need to talk. Need about to talk about board. the cash flow, dude. Uh, not far now. Not far now. God damn it, man! I knew we would agree terms. Arachnomorphs don't look much like bunnies, but they sure breed like them. Best nip the problem in the bud. I'll look into it. Oh. Could I ever use a nap? Formula, nice. Oh. <laughs> My head shakes so much. Lads, I find your concern touching. I do. Yet I've long awaited this day. So, you must forgive me, but I shall go through with it as planned. Ah, it seems my guide has arrived. Greetings. Greetings to you, White Wolf. Uh, I presume you saw my notice? <laughs> Foolish question. You're here, thus you must have seen it. Forgive me, I should introduce myself. Count Belladar, a great admirer of your deeds. Thanks. Not something we witchers hear often. But Count, sir, do you mean to go off with just this witcher? A right hardy fellow he is, no ponce, I'm sure. But your expedition's too risky on the whole. And not taking us with you, pardon my saying it, right daft. You exaggerate, Vilma. I believe I can manage to survive half a day without someone there to wipe me ass in my stead. <laughs> my guards lament, witcher, but you must forgive them. Now, to get down to brass tacks, as you've no doubt gleaned from the notice, I've a rather extraordinary proposition for you. I'm a lover, Witcher, of nature. <laughs> a devotee of the wild. And Tucson is home to several species not encountered elsewhere. I'd like you to accompany me on an expedition whose aim is to... Uh, preserve them. <clears throat> ah, yes. Uh, naturally, you'll protect me should the need arise. My ever vigilant guards eh. will report any reckless behavior. Yeah, my wife better not let the wife so hear about it. And then war will be me. 
Count Belladon? Famous poultry farmer, is that it? <coughs> well, that was my grandpapa, dear Mac. But my trade is the wine trade. I import the finest vintages to Kavir, my homeland. The very reason for my frequent visits to Beauclair, uh, during which I like to uh, partake of nature, let us say. Really need a witcher to uh, partake? Got guards of your own. Take them, save some coin. I could, surely. But they too deserve a bit of rest, relaxation. Right, lads? <laughs> Besides, I've plenty of coin. Coin that needs spending. Who dares stop me? Ah, uh, so this is about a rich man, bored stiff, seeking thrills. Uh, there's also Clarissa who. Vilma, please. Who what? Uh, my daughter. I always return from my travels with some souvenir or mm. other. She looks forward to them tremendously. <laughs> but uh, we did not meet to chat about my family. We must discuss our venture, must we not? All right, what do you need, need me to do? Before I can say anything, where are we going? What am I supposed to do exactly? In the roundest terms, we shall admire the local flora and fauna. And while we do, I might preserve a thing or two. Preserve? Of this device, see? Uh, a parastyser mac. It, uh, it captures uh, likenesses. It's a camera. Paris, as to what? It's like a movable megascope, capturing moments, transforming them into illusions, based upon which I then paint a painting. So, you want me with you? Looking at animals and flowers and... Well, that's more or less what it amounts to, yes. Uh, except you will first have to track down the creatures I wish to capture. I know only the very approximate locations of their habitats. <sighs> well, and uh, if any trouble arise, we'll have your sword at the ready, right? So, agreed? Uh, pay first. Yeah. Pretty unusual contract. I couldn't agree more, yes. And I'm prepared to pay a commensurately high fee. Don't mind if we actually talk about exactly how high that'll be first, do you? Why ever would I? Please, simply tell me how much you wish to receive. Sublime! We have a deal! Alright, cool. Doesn't seem we got hard. Him. Be glad to do something pleasant for a change. Sublime! In that case, here's your map. Before coming here, I dispatched requests to several local hunters. They located the habitats of the species of interest to me and marked out their ranges on the map. Good thinking. It'll save us some time. Won't need to track. Ready to go? Yes, let's. The light seems perfect just now. Draft horse will talk without some carrot. Seems I got the map, so I'll lead. Wouldn't rather be out here with those guards of yours? <laughs> you jest. It's deliverance to emerge from under their wings, believe me. They're overprotective, uh, oppressively so. I wish to admire the wildlife, preserve it. Not watch them kill it in a fit of misguided fear for my life. What if the wildlife attacks us? We should have no other recourse. I do not wish to be something supper. You? Map says there should be panthers around here. Stay close. Keep your eyes peeled. I've but one request, Witcher. Avoid bloodshed, if at all possible. Panthers. Frankly, I did not hear a thing. Clearly, your senses are far more acute than mine. I must rely on them. Damn poachers. Snares. Looks like they were hoping for a bear. Panther got caught instead. Oh. Oh. Will you help the mother? Give it a shot. Gotta calm her first. Likely to lunge at us otherwise. Brilliant. Brilliant. 
upset the animals. Better get out of here. Out of the bite, Porchy. Content you share my love for animals. Got pretty broad interests for a man of the city. I suppose I dabble in my share of things. Wine, nature, painting. I imagine the life of a witcher. Wine? Mostly wine? Monotonous. With all due respect. It is. Never boring, though. Sounds loud and clear here. Must be near the nest. We're here. Well, this vantage point's no good. I shan't capture a good image from here. All right, wait. We'll find you a better spot that's safe, too. Tread lightly. Giant centipede sends the softest sounds, the lightest vibrations. You wake one up, it wakes up angry. Distance seems right. Light's not bad either. Yes, this will work perfectly. Can you lure them out? Give me a minute. Need to think. Vibrations. Gotta send some through the ground. I'll try tossing a bomb or casting a sign. You watch out. Don't get any closer. An excellent day for capturing moments. Magnificent. We can move on now. Exhilarating. Positively exhilarating. Thank you. I have one more request. Local peacocks performing their mating ritual. I'd love to see that. Apparently, a flock dwells not far from here. We can go. Just don't count on peeping at them while they mate. Season ended a month back. Uh -huh. Oh, that's terrible. I so wish to capture their splendorous tails in full bloom. Is there nothing you can do if they prove uneager to present? Perhaps challenge them somehow? Goad them? What did you have in mind? Don't have a tail myself. <laughs> I'm not likely to sprout one anytime soon. My thoughts were more along the lines of Witcher magic. They say you can exert influence over lesser creatures. Uh, yeah, guess I can try. Can't promise you anything, though. Splendid. Consider me contented. Uh, I cannot pinpoint the flock's location, but a hunter I know told me a few likely spots. I'll mark them for you. All right. Let's go find some peacocks. I was wondering, why peacocks? My... my daughter is rather fond of them. There will be a treat for her. We're close. Eyes in the back of your head.
fuck is that noise? Shh. Hear that? They're calling to each other. Fabulous. We're getting close. Just splay the tails. See what I can do. Find a good spot. Ready! Use your magic, Witcher! <laughs> yeah. Smile, please. Giant centipedes. Damn it. Where did they come from? Must have followed us. Get back. That was... That was... Hold on, I can make this, uh... This greater red mutagen. Tense. And I can make this... Critical effects to opponents. Creates a random decoction with no cost. I need a lot of greater red vision. I believe I've had my fill of excitement for today. An excellent day for capturing. What a wonderful adventure! <laughs> Get Broke everything you want. Yes. <laughs> In that case, time to get back to your camp. Let's get you back safe and sound. Returning your lord to you, safe and sound. You've our gratitude, master. You see, lads? Master Witcher. To fear. Thank you, Witcher, for looking after our day count. Seems the jaunt did him wonders. Breathed some new life into him. Wait here a moment, Geralt. I have to fetch my coin pouch. Pay my dues. No need to thank me. Glad they have more contracts like this. I actually Counts thought this wonder, was fun. It's a sad injustice, the misfortune that's touched the family. Misfortune? Made no mention, did he? Ten years back, his last Clarice is her name. Took a spill off her horse. Been bedridden ever since. Cannot walk of her own. Oh, shit. She'd been the life of the house before the calamity. A merry sprite what filled every corner with joy. Count would oft take her out on trips. She loved animals, too. Excursions he makes now, or rather, paintings he brings home. There's her only window on the wider world. Sorry to make you wait. I was dead chuffed to be able to observe you in action. To confirm for myself there that the tales about you were not exaggerated in the slightest. You show discipline, reliability, responsibility. I dare say you'd make the ideal business associate. That's a shame you've no interest in the wine trade. One day, maybe. Yeah, one Reward. day. Use it well. Thanks. I've one other matter I wish to broach. In a few days' time, I shall exhibit my work for some friends, my coterie, so to speak. Would you come by? Sure. Why not, if I'm in the area? Splendid. In that case, I shall see you at my lodgings. I'm staying with a friend while in Tucson, near a village named Frankola. I'll be by. See ya.
Splendid work. Thank you. I'm over in cover. Forgot about that. All right, let's see. Gotta do this real quick. They should be. Yeah, they are. I don't know what the hell's going on then. Where is that dude? Uh, I do what they paid me. This guy. That's it. Yeah. Any tightings? All taken care of. Went inside and cleaned up. We're all Thank cleaned up. Gods. And you too, of course. Let's 
see. I got quite a bit of stuff here I could I could sell. A lot of wraith mutagen. back on the path so long okay well anyway ah! oh. all right what's next yeah there was a double nest over here I plan to go get to the ruins. We'll gladly deal with this nest now that that dude is gone.
get him. Where's the actual nest? Um... the fuck? There were nests here at one point. It's like they fucking disappeared or something. Hold on. Uh, yeah, Felix, if it's red, it just means that it's a little bit higher level than... I don't know where the actual nests went. They're, like, gone. Hmm. Well, I guess I can't do those until they spawn back in. I don't know why they're not working, but, yeah, they are gone. I wonder if I was supposed to do those earlier. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess we can take part in this little picnic over here. centipedes are formidable predators. Once go, go, you be put it one away and it's always active. Well, no, I didn't even blow them up, though. Work, was able to capture a lone specimen I mean, I did throw attack. the bomb at them Cast your eye before, I guess, hunter. but I didn't, like, You're actually interact with it. Where's a look of cold determination on his face as he awaits the optimal moment to strike? <clears throat> ah, Geralt, you're here. Wonderful. Come, please. <clears throat> I'm delighted to see you. I have a small gift for you, and I shan't let you refuse. Here you are free to sell it, of course. Though I would be honored were you to hang it in your home. Thanks. Talked to your guards back at the camp. Told me about Clarissa. Sorry to hear about her accident. Thank you. Kind words that mean a great deal to me. How's Clarissa these days? Probably can't wait for you to get back. <laughs> to get her gifts, you mean? I've dispatched two already. She'll not need to wait for my return. En route home, I meet a pastor Doglathana. They say one can see Sylvan's there. Yeah, actually happened to know one. Name's Torque. He can be mean, but for the right fee, He'll do anything you ask. Splendid. The fee. Eh? I'll thank you for the hint. Tell him I said about regards. the fee. Good crowd. You got a lot of friends. All of them seem to be fawning over your paintings too. Oh, when you have as much coin as I do, friends buzz around like flies on fresh meat, and they praise you to high heavens for each trip, burp, and sneeze. Not all are lying sycophants, that's not what I mean. Just most, unfortunately. Why bother? Why even invite them around? I'm a man of enterprise. I must put my trade before any personal hatreds or sympathies. Besides... Uh, Besides? At times, 
I'll exhibit a completely failed painting just to listen to them twist their tongues into knots, trying to find just the right superlatives to lather on <sighs> smeared rubbish. Naturally, the more intent someone is to get into my good graces, the louder they praise my masterpiece. It's devilish fun, I tell you. Well, all right. Nice meeting you. So long now. save this one for later I won't turn it in until I'm probably like level 48 or something I don't know if that sword scales by level but I want to be as high level as possible before I pick up that sword all right let's see 38 37. Yeah, I gotta get these low level ones done. Now that I've out leveled. Go, go. These stashes usually don't reward experience anyway, but 55 is as high as you got to with everything finished. Yeah, people say it ranges depending on like how much stuff you do and the order that you do stuff because of the way experience kind of adjusts based on your level. They said that like 50 to 55 is kind of like the range of what you can expect in a single playthrough is like kind of somewhere in that in that range So we've got 38. Go, go. That is the logical next one that I should do. Did I fail any missions? Yeah, a couple. Not many, but a couple. Like five, I think. Two of them were in White Orchard. 
at the very beginning of the game, I just, like, started the next area without completing everything. Hey, Tony Champion, the belt must give you one hefty reduction. Maybe hold up. Well, oh, it is positively so reasonable. Pardon me. Perhaps, uh, perhaps you could And then me. two more see, came from lad. not doing the Kira quest I line. At this old storehouse at auction. As it turns out, it stinks like an Ophiri larder and is loud as a Novigrad brothel. Bumbotch it all. I infested my life savings. Now I fear to go inside. Do help me, Witcher. Could look into it, maybe. As long as you have the means to pay me. No, I fear not. That is not an. All right, one one seventy-five. Have mercy, man. Have what? mercy, man. Ah, shit. The store itself has all. All right, fucking one sixty. Fine, so be it. We've a deal. All right, I'll take a look inside your storehouse. My, do I ever feel like doing absolutely nothing? Uh, stinks of carrion. Necrophages. Yep. to uh, get to a place where I can faster to do it this way than to like do walking <laughs> and what they pay is the storehouse that's it well have you seen to my storehouse storehouse was full of rotten meat attracted ghouls i had to get rid of saint lebiodos callous teeth but is it safe now completely mm -hmm. though i'd advise you to clean the meat out quick before other ghouls show up. Of course. Yes, I shall put my men to it. Toot sweet. Toot sweet. Yeah. Meanwhile, perhaps you need something? I have a meager stock just now, but come back in two days to see a full array at a discount that will make you cross-eyed. Show me where you're peddling.
So long. <coughs> I came out of Oxen for the Academy with high honors, yet any broad shouldered lump burns more around here. Oh. All right. Well, I definitely and desperately <laughs> need to get faster some shit sold so Dude here has enough money that he can like buy all my shit without me having to like stop by the stash. With. What is the pheasant? Come on, get out of my way, Roach. Slower. Always finding ways to get in my way. Greeting. What do you have? What do you have on offer? black quite a few color options here <laughs> Take the diamonds. sell that other stuff. some of that money back. <laughs>
it's going to take me a while to get the ability points for this, but let's see. Four, nine. Would that be 14 and then another set, like 21? I'm not going to get that probably anytime soon. Because that would be sixty level 64 for that. do this contract and I desperately actually you know what I wanted to see about this situation here oh. Oh. I need to go to the rune right what do you want? Snow White. Name's Geralt. What can I do for you? That hair, the scar, ah, the frown. It's all perfect. Something you actually want from me? Or are you just going to go on gushing about my attributes? <laughs> I admire, good sir. Admire and desire. Such a threat in the eyes. Oh, so manly. If you're trying to get me to meet with you some evening, I'm wasting time. <laughs> An evening? Impossible. I shall require the soft light of mid afternoon for <coughs> this portrait. Portrait? Indeed. Yours. En face. Actual size. With the finest Vista Toussaint Fords behind you. Pose for me. You must. Naturally, I shall pay the compensation due to you for your modeling services. Sure. Don't see why not, as long as it doesn't take long. It shan't. Never worry. With but a short distance to journey into the hills outside of town. A perfect landscape perfectly to frame your perfect physiognomy. Let's go then. I okay. need to only fetch my easel and pallets from my studio. We shall meet at noon at the Western Gate, near the palace. From where we'll venture forth together. Okay. And everything's peachy. Let's go. I'll do that one later. I wonder what the old lady's fixing for supper. This dude with the freaking contract payouts. Cut, cut, socks. Greetings, knight. My clerks have brought word of heroic deeds on your part. Please accept this compensation for your toil, good sir. Can't help but be curious. But where do the funds for those payments come from? The Ducal Treasury, of course. Her illustrious highness, Anna Henrietta, assigns great value to bravery and selfless patriotism. It is her stent in order that any knight may receive a wage. <coughs> Pardon me. Financial compensation for his dedication <laughs> to defending the Duchy's internal security and order. Uh, sure. Wouldn't mind a glance.
I'm gonna put that painting up in my uh, in my house. Well, see you later. Go in peace for a night. Fast travel. Ah. Don't crowd around. I need to take a short break here so I can use the potty and uh, grab a little snack. But I will do my fast travel first. All right, and we shall meditate. And we shall save game. All right, BRB.